Welcome to this edition of Education Briefs, brought to you by the New Jersey Association of School Administrators, which is comprised of chief education officers and school administrators representing school districts throughout New Jersey. Here is Dr. Richard Baza, Executive Director of the NJASA. New statewide assessments to measure student achievement in high school math and English have recently been announced by the New Jersey Department of Education. After several years of development and field testing, New Jersey will transition away from the High School Proficiency Assessment, HSPA, because it no longer accurately measures the skills of our 21st century curriculum. Instead, beginning this spring, there will be performance-based assessments in English and Mathematics in March and end-of-the-year assessments near the conclusion of the school year. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Baza, Executive Director of NJASA. Here's what parents and students can expect. The assessments more closely measure competency of the Common Core State Standards. These are based on the work of the Partnership for the Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers, more commonly referred to as PARC. Schools will continue to differentiate their course offerings so that students are appropriately challenged. Importantly, the state is giving districts the flexibility to meet proficiency requirements using any of a variety of options. Students will be able to demonstrate proficiency in English and math by passing the PARC assessment, passing a substitute competency test like the SAT or ACT, or meeting the criteria of the New Jersey Department of Education Portfolio Appeal. Parents are encouraged to learn more about these changes and to talk to their principal or superintendent about any questions or concerns. NJASA applauds the state for being flexible with the new PARC testing requirement to take the time to see how accurately it will measure student achievement. This transition period will help everyone determine next steps. New Jersey's chief education officers will continue to work with the New Jersey Department of Education and our schools as we navigate this change. Stay tuned, watch the developments on our Facebook page, and read our blog at njasa.net. Until next time, Thanks for watching. New Jersey's Chief Education Officers, moving education forward. To learn more about New Jersey's Chief Education Officers, visit us at the web at njasa.net.